Seiko torsions were probably the most confusing thing for me to learn in osteopathic medical school. And as a pathologist now, I don't really use it, but I have to know how to pass the exams. And like you, I'm still trying to figure out a way how to remember this. But let me teach you my foolproof way to remember the, the sacral torsions and get them all right for your exams. This probably looks familiar to you. This is so intimidating. There's no way to remember any of this. Do not memorize this. Don't even waste your time. Like, don't even try to memorize and write that all down. Let me show you my quick guide and cheat sheet for these sacral torsions on the exam so you do not waste any time on these questions. All right, I need you to draw along with me. Get out a scrap piece of paper, pause the video, and draw four squares. All right, so let's get to work here. So we have four squares. These represent the sacrum. Okay, we have a couple different variations of sacral torsions that we need to diagnose for the exam. Those ones are forward, aka flex torsions, and extended slash backward torsions. Okay, so FE. Now I want you to draw like an X shape through these boxes. Okay, so do you see there's kind of like an X here? Okay. These represent the axis. Now we're going to write down the side on which there's a line. So this is left, right, right, left. Okay, following me. Now we're going to add a positive on the side where there is not a line. This is denoting where it is deep or shallow. So if it's on a flex side, this is where it is deep. And on the extended side, this is where it's shallow. Okay, following along. Now, we're going to fill in, since this is flexed, these are going to be left on left. And this is going to be right on right. This is left on right. And this is right on left. Okay. That's all we have to know for the exam. This was what I literally wrote down for every single complex. And this is how I answered every sacral question because these are so confusing to visualize, especially when you're tired after an eight hour exam, like just write this on your cheat sheet and you will be golden. So I've put this in a nicer display for you to put in your study guide. And this is all the questions you'll be getting for this. So we have the flexed and the extended. Um, categories and we know flexed is going to be left on left, right on right. They're going to be the same um, and then extended or backward torsions are left on right, right on left. All right, if you have confusion, like if you think, okay, it's right on left, what is it going to look like? Where's the axis going to be? Where's it going to be shallow? Like you have it on your cheat sheet. You have it all written out. Um, and then it's going to ask you, what is the L5 dysfunction? What is the L5 going to be if it's a right on right? Don't worry. So the L, so basically, essentially, it's going to be um, neutral, and it's going to be the side bend and rotation are going to be opposite. So, for instance, you have a left on left. They're asking what L five is going to be. You know, your answer is going to be neutral. And side bending and rotation are going to be opposite of what's circled here, right? So, side bended, left, rotated, right. Okay, what about here? Okay, L5 will be either flexed or extended. Don't mind my writing here. And it's going to be on the same side. So side bend. And the rotation and side bend are going to be the same. Make sense? So go ahead and fill in the rest of these. And Voila, and within five minutes you have learned how to answer all of your sacral torsion questions.